This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting the new features in Apple Final Cut Pro 10.6.2. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to use the new voice isolation feature to remove hum and reduce background noise. Let's start with the voice isolation audio filter. This is artificial intelligence based audio enhancement. And the way it works is really quite simple, which is one of the really cool things about it. You select an audio clip, then go up to the audio inspector and voice isolation is this checkbox. Now what's important to know is that voice isolation is off by default. It's not part of the magic wand when you enhance audio. Those are part of the audio analysis section of the audio inspector. Just as voice isolation is standalone, so also is clip EQ standalone. To enable it, we'll click here. And when the checkbox is lit, there we go, we get a little slider and it defaults to 50%. What's magical about this is not only does it reduce background noise, it also removes any hum that's in the clip. And by adjusting the slider, you can increase the amount of reduction or decrease the amount of reduction. I've had several editors already send me emails, amazing surprise, expressing surprise, at how good this filter works. Now, a couple of key notes. Number one, when you are reducing noise, you want to reduce it, not take it all the way out. And the more you reduce the audio, the thinner the voice is going to sound. So you're always looking for a balance. You want the speaker's voice to be the dominant sound in that clip. But don't try to take the audio background noise all the way out. One, it's going to sound strange. And number two, it's going to make the voice sound awkward. So this is just something that you get to play with for each clip and drag the slider back and forth. One of the things you'll notice also is that when you start to remove noise from a voice, the voice starts to get thin. So you want to turn on equalization and click this. Oh, 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 I have this new toy that is so cute. Look at this. I can now highlight the cursor. Is that not neat? Uh, it's a program I just downloaded this morning. It's called Cursor Highlighter. <laughs> Amazing, these names. The thing I like about it is you can turn it on and off. So I'll turn it on so you can see what I'm clicking on right here. Click on this and it opens up the graphic equalizer. With the graphic equalizer, when you are thinning the voice, you want to increase the bass a bit. So drag it up between 3 and 5 dB at 128 and 256 hertz. And that's going to warm up the deep portions of a voice. For a woman, you can take this out and boost this just a bit and boost this just a bit. So men, 128 to 256 and women, mostly 256, so a little bit at 512. And it's going to add richness and sexiness and warmth to the low end frequency of voice. So that's voice isolation. Play with it. I think you're going to be very impressed. By the way, if you are doing voice isolation, don't do um, noise removal or harm removal as part of audio analysis. Voice isolation is far superior. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting the new features in Apple Final Cut Pro 10.6.2. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 334. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and when we update it, our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership.